from Flat Cat Gear. Um, with the introduction of the Ocelot HX kit, um, we're also announcing that we're supporting uh, four different heat exchanger mug sizes. So let's talk about each of these different uh, uh, mugs in particular, because they each have some interesting characteristics. Now, it doesn't mean we only support four. It's just these are the first four uh, that we have, and many others may fit. Um, another note to keep in mind, again, with this adapter plate, there's a side to it. There's an A and a B side. And depending on what pot you have, you have to determine which side you use. So on the A side, <coughs> let's start off with the uh, Sterno Inferno. Uh, Sterno Inferno is about a, it's about a 700 milliliter mug. It's marked at uh, 500 milliliters. Uh, we're shown here with this optional lid that we're carrying. Uh, the, the default lid is a resin lid that weighs about 60 grams. This one weighs about 18 grams. Uh, great stove, uh, great setup. Uh, this is what we did a majority of our testing on. Um, the interesting thing about this is the, the stove boils water so fast uh, that it can boil over. And with a two cup range, there's a little bit of headroom here. And you really need to keep your eye on it because what will happen is it will start rocking, water will start spilling over and you need to shut it down. So our recommendation, <clears throat> particularly with the Inferno, is to reduce the power, keep it down to you know a third power level. That just gives you more headroom so it doesn't violently uh, boil over. But this is probably the most compact kit for boiling two cups of water. Now on the other extreme, this is a uh, Buell, and this is 1.5 liters. Now this is a, it's a little bit large. Um, I don't know if I would use it that often because I don't need to boil one and a half liters of water. Uh, the tricky thing about this particular heat exchanger pot is if you look at the bottom, it's got the standard uh, heat exchanger fins. But then what they did was they encompass the sides up and provided more shielding. Uh, so from a wind protection standpoint of view, this is, this is a really nice pot. Um, the biggest issue with this pot is when you put it on, uh, you can't see the flames at all. So you can't adjust it. Uh, you can't visually use feedback and say, is it burning too hot or too slow? So what you have to do is you have to listen to the sound of the stove. Now, this has more flow restriction than any other heat exchange pot that we've tested before. And the way you can tell is you hear the stove burning and then when you put the pot on top, if the stove changes pitch, uh, you're probably choking off the stove a bit. So efficient steel is good, still good. Uh, but because of the flow restrictions, you have to thro throttle this down a little bit. And it may actually not boil as fast as some of these other pots. But again, this is a 1.5 liter pot. Next up, this is the Fire Maple uh, 1 liter pot. Uh, also a nice pot. And as you can see, again, because the heat exchanger fins, you can actually see in there and see the flame levels. And you can adjust it and do all kinds of things. Um, as a standalone, uh, probably the cheapest uh, pot I think is a little over twenty dollars. Uh, one liter, nice volume. Um, I like this. I like this mug setup. The last one I want to talk a little bit about is the jet boil stash, which we support as well. Um, I don't believe many people are going to actually use our Ocelot system for the jet boil stash unless you're unless you're really dissatisfied. The reason is you paid one hundred and thirty dollars for this whole system. Um, now, yes, it doesn't work that great at above four miles an hour, uh, but you can always use shelters and stuff. But if you decide you want a more robust system, we support the jet boil stash. So come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.